Hello guys, Gus from Belgium again. In this uh, second small video, I will show you how you can easily uh, log into the VPS. So in the previous video, we have uh, created a VPS on vpsserver.com. So once that is done, you can log into it. Here you have the backend. So uh, you need to uh, note two things down. So the username is in this case administrator. So note this down and very important the password. You cannot see it, but when you click on uh, this eye icon, you can see it. So what do I do? I just uh, copy and paste it. Okay, this is in Dutch. I'm from Belgium, but yeah, I suppose you know what I mean. You just copy it. So you have uh, several options to log into the VPS. Uh, what I mostly do, not always, uh, is use on my iPhone this application. This is called the Microsoft Remote Desktop. You just go to the App Store, you download it, and you fill in uh, your IP address. So uh, this is the IP address and then the username and the password and then you can connect it that's yeah very handy because when you are on the road or wherever you are you can um, watch the vps so also install this application this is called the meta trader 4 uh, application so everything is in apple as you see but uh, yeah for the people with android uh, you have uh, the same applications so that's not an issue but I'm on a Windows computer currently, so uh, what do I do to log into the VPS? I go to uh, the Windows Store, so you just click here, Store. And then you just do a search after Microsoft Remote. And then I hit Enter. As you see, or don't see here on the left side uh, it's already installed of course because I already tested it so you just click on it and you install it and then um, it will look like this this icon and then you open it once again everything is in Dutch but never mind that just uh, watch the symbols and you can uh, manage it also so you just click here on add then uh, this means desktop you click on that, uh, then the PC name, that must be uh, the IP address. So you go back to the back end. So this is the IP address. You just copy and paste. Very easy. Then he asked me the user account. Okay, I hit save. Uh, he tells me there's a space somewhere. Okay, nice. It's good we see this because the first time I face that, so as you see, you just delete the space before that. <coughs> okay, so now it's almost ready to connect. So we click on it. As you know, the username was right administrator. Okay, and the password. Let me check. And let's connect. Then it tells me about certificate, just uh, connect and accept. Okay, I made an error, no problem. Let me retry. So, admin me. Let me copy. hit connect let's see if it takes it now okay great so uh, good as you see we are already logged into the server very important always install your updates I will not do it now because this this is just a, a test case so if I hit close as you see now you need to see this uh, Windows Server 2012 very important so um, yeah and then you just um, follow the next steps for the metaphor uh, installation so you can click here and all that and go back with desktop. But um, yeah, I suppose that's everything for this small movie. So uh, also by the time when you are watching this video, of course this test account uh, will already be deleted. So uh, no need to try a hack or something.
So if you have any questions, uh, just ping me on um, Facebook or WhatsApp. Okay, thank you.